Yeah, I got the wheels apart. Fluid just pouring out of them. Turned out that these three bolts that hold the calipers together weren't even tight. And so these have two little washers here, like Corvette brakes. Uh, and that seals the, the two calipers together. So that brake fluid just running out. They're pretty dirty, but the pads look real good. The rotor was kind of chewed up, so I pulled it off of here and took it in and chucked it up in the lathe. I'm going to try to clean it up. So here it is. I can't really get a good grip on the, the hub there. And I run a, a uh, big chuck in there. Um, see how straight it's running. Oh, yeah, that's the way out. So anyway, I'll have to, I'll have to put my dial indicator on there and try to center it up best I can. Looks like I might be able to put my jaws around and chuck it on this. I'll try to do it like this first, see what happens. See how straight I can get it. Now this side of the rotor, there's zero. It looks like it's about 80 thousandths out. It's not really chewed up too bad. Uh, I can go ahead and do a little tweaking on that and try to get it a little closer I think this I can manage to get it in here good enough to turn it now I got it down to about maybe 15,000 Piece in a little. That looks like it's about five or six. That's probably five thousandths is uh, good enough to try to clean up the surface here. Part of it is this is not really getting that bearing straight inside. taking a real light path across here. Just uh, cleaning it up pretty good. Oh, I probably ought to make me some kind of machine to hold these things true. But, uh, this side here wasn't too bad. I'm just taking the rust off. This is the real bad side right here. Anyway, I'm just letting it run on through it. Slow feed. Should clean it up pretty nice. Looks like it's taking more off of that one side there. probably have it in there a little crooked. I 
Anyway, it's uh, I might take one more pass. It's off five thousand. But if I turn them both the same, I don't think five thousand is going to be enough to make a huge difference.
cutting right in this area up to about here and this is the low spot on that side so it looks like it was warped a little I'm going to let her run and see what happens again same thing on the inside it wasn't it wasn't grabbing too bad so anyway it's getting rid of those pits and stuff and we'll see what it looks like after i get to turn on that still won't be able to get to this other side we'll see what happens yeah, once it got down into the towards the inside, it's not taking anything off. So that tells me that it was rotor was warped on the outside. So this is what it looks like. Looks like it's taking it uh, right off this area right here. A little bit right in here, and this is the one where it was rusty. So, <coughs> so this uh, this wheel is not straight, but uh, I'll get it pretty straight. At least I'll get this side good. It's all lined up with the center line of the thing. We'll see what happens. I thought about turning this, uh, this nose down straight, but uh, it's really out of round here. Uh, and I don't want to try to try to save this hub particularly like that. But I've got uh, I've got this thing uh, saved. It's probably 95% straight. Only got this one place right in there where it has some rust. The rest of it's cleaned up pretty good. I think that's probably good enough to <coughs> work on this old car. I can always buy new hubs if I have to, but for now, that, uh, that was this rotor. Sure wish I could get to the other side, but my, my lathe is just not going to do it. Yep. Not gonna make it over there. Oh, if I had some kind of a fancy thing, I might be able to get it, but I couldn't get a bit in there anyway. Well, I cleaned up the bearings. Put this back on. That old grease was... Man, it was like a putty or something new grease felt like oil in comparison and I got these uh, two calipers here kind of cleaned up uh, at least got all the oil and grease off of them I don't know if they'll even work and it looks like they're loose so they're probably all right. 
and I'll just put these back together I'm gonna sand that a little bit so it makes good contact yeah they're They're moving, so they probably don't leak. I don't see any evidence of old oil. Maybe this one was leaking at some point. Can't really tell because I just filled it with gas. But uh, I'll get a rebuild kit for these things. But uh, I'm just hoping I'll get some kind of brakes on it so I can at least move it around. I haven't got the driving yet but the, the motor did start. I think carburetor will make that go. Anyway, let me put these brakes back on here and see what I got. Well, there it is all back on. And uh, I pumped up the brakes and they pumped up so I assume that uh, I got brakes and it released the drum a little bit I just ordered a new rebuilding kit for both of them like 80 bucks or something but you got uh, four pistons on each side it's not too bad of a price let's see what happens here oh yeah it's right up to top hard as a rock so looks like that's what happened it was leaking and the guys tried to take it loose and they split the calipers and uh, anyway it wasn't uh, wasn't done right but I got good brakes now what the chances of it starting are yeah it's probably out of gas anyway looking at it a little more not too bad Dash is chewed up, warped a little right in here. I could, I could probably live with that. Door panels on both sides are good. A little bit of stuff. A window here. Apparently, it fell out. How they got this in there look like they just glued it right over the top of the old panel probably ruined those panels the seats are not sure what's happening with that but uh, shouldn't be that much trouble to recover them I guess now my next thing would be to try to see what's going on with a gas tank. I need to get another tail light lens. That one's gone. Faded out. Looks like I got four pretty good wheels. Tires aren't all that bad. This one tire is definitely bad. This one's not too bad. But it had a. I saw it sitting on a trailer. And it's got a big gash in it. But for now, it's holding air. I'm straightening out a sheet metal here to do. Yeah, it looks like they put some bondo on it. 
but it don't look like it was too much. It's still going to be hard to strip. Hood's alright. I didn't use good paint inside of here, so I might be able to get all this black shit off of here. Everything all matches as far as numbers. These are the same one that's on the title that's welded into the thing. So apparently that's a new windshield. Anyway, I guess my next deal here is try to try to do something with that carburetor. Who knows, PVC valve there might be bad. It's really not running on these four. Anyway, I want to Put the brakes on it here, or put the wheel on it. Button this up, let it down. Move on to something else. Yeah, I got to looking around in here, and uh, I saw that heat riser there, and uh, one thing looked stuck. I started banging on it, and I got it to turn. This one hand is stuck, don't work too good. Yeah, but anyway, uh, now you can't see it. But I banged around on it. And, uh, Got it loosened up. How about that? So I think that might have been the reason that it wasn't running on this side. Yeah, we just plugged up the exhaust. So anyway, I'm gonna try it again. Put a little fuel in it. I know that carburetor's bad. I ought to try to do something about that before I try to start it. But uh, I think that was probably the reason that it was uh, not running on this side. It was cold air coming out of the right side exhaust and plenty hot coming out of the left side so it might have been that uh, heat riser thing was stuck it was stuck I took quite a bit of banging but uh, it's uh, looks like it's moving now it's closed but uh, the exhaust should open it up well we'll see Every time I do something, it feels a little better. Or plug wires and plugs for it. Uh, probably one of those things I really didn't even need them. But I can set the dwell now on this. I since I bought a good dwell meter, I'm sure those points are not good. And. Uh, Maybe I'll just put a little gas in it for the fun of it and see if I can get it started again. Would like to check, check that transmission. Well, looking around in here, looks like the fuel line from the tank has been taken off the fuel pump. Who knows, that fuel pump might work. I think I'll put a hose on it. Stick it on a can down in there and uh, let me 
see if this is suck and see what happens. fitting that goes back to the tank probably just had a hose which is long gone of course anyway we'll try to get an air hose out here and blow that tank out yeah. first I'm going to see if it'll suck out of a out of a can I really don't have enough hose here I can probably use some of this stuff it's long enough to work for a gas line for a while. Well, I hooked my can up here to my little electric pump and then ran it up into the bottom of the fuel pump there. Primed it, touched the starter, and uh, looks like the, the main fuel pump is working. I'm going to put a filter on it probably that one right there it's got another one down there somewhere but uh, I want to be able to see the fuel moving so I'll try to get that in there and hopefully uh, that'll regulate the fuel pressure and uh, I won't have a bunch of leaks. We'll see. Well, let's see what happens. Looks like it pumped it. I don't see no leaks. So, probably will. If I hook this electric back up, no, nope. not pushing any fuel through. So, could be that carburetor had just been setting forever. Everything was dry on it. And, and from the looks of the angle of everything and uh, this white looking stuff here on the valve covers I would say that that uh, had some kind of a fuel leak before sprayed all over it and uh, that's what caused all this fuel leak Anyway, got everything in there. I can't see, but uh, I drained all the gas out of this. Had about uh, four or five gallons in it. can't tell that it even moved the, the thing fuel setting in it probably bad but the last gas was clean and it's flowing fuel pumps working should be able to start it now we'll see in a minute oh, fired up good Got the idle way too high. Uh, I couldn't get it to run while I go. I didn't know I'm about a half a turn. Well, I'm not leaking anywhere. I've got my uh, vacuum vamps off of it, so that might make a little difference. Here, lifter ticking, but I think there's some 
Rizlon or something, I'll fix that. Yeah, 